Shalom, family. Shalom. So, uh, several, several questions come rolling in. Emails from different individuals. Really from different places. They, uh, they want me to make a video about growing spiritually. Growing spiritual. Um, the sky is the limit. Now you have to spend a lot of time self-reflecting. You have to spend time, a lot of time alone with you and the creator of the universe. Okay, he'll speak to you. You have this, you'll, you'll speak to your spirit, your inner spirit. Now he, uh, it's not a woman's voice that speaks to you. It's a, it's a man's voice that comes across to you. It touches you, your heart, soul, and spirit. Now, grow a little at a time. There's different levels to growing in your spiritual life. You know, you start out as babes, you know, then you move up a little more. The more you learn, the more you grow, hey, you, you advance, you succeed, you pass tests, and you go up another level. You just keep leveling up all the time. You're constantly moving to the next level in your spiritual life. But it takes time. It's a growing process. Hey, there's growing pains. But hey, you um, sometime you have to get a little dirt on you in order to grow. You know, this is a this is a lifestyle that's for very few of us. Okay, many of us uh, don't follow the crowd. Some of us go against the grain. Okay, we can see uh, the reason we don't follow the crowd is because we can see through the smoke. Okay. We can see right through this matrix setup of this worldly design, this man-made design in, of the world. Okay, we can see through that. We can see through that. and You can see the truth and you learn the truth. You're always looking for deeper knowledge, deeper learning. You're looking, you want to discern every little thing. You want to ask questions about everything that you've been told and taught. And what you'll discover is a lot of things that you've been taught uh, through the, the schools, public school systems, and through uh, the television and the, the media, and the ways in which you have been taught and, and educated, uh, they, a lot of the things that they've taught you is inaccurate. It's half-truths. They teach you half the truth, but not all of it. So once you dig in and and uh, and uh, be Torah observant, you have to stay stay on top of the Torah. Hey, and you, you can grow and grow more and more each and every day. You just grow by leaps and bounds, and success comes your way. It just comes pouring in. But you always want to keep your your cup half empty. Keep it half empty, and then watch watch it overflow. Hey, the blessings come in and. and your cup just runneth over. It's absolutely incredible. Hey, the creator of the universe, he wants you to learn. He wants you to talk to him. He wants to teach and show you things that you've never seen before in your life. Now, you have to listen to him. You have to learn to listen to him. You can't, uh, you can't do things that you used to do in your old, wicked, past life. You have to get away from that. You have to leave and get away from your... Uh, bad friends that you had in the past who got you in so much drama and trouble or something like this. You got to leave them behind. You have to move on. You have to move past that. You have to get over that. There's more in life to achieve. Hey, there's always room to grow spiritually each and every day. Hey, it's a path. This is a journey that few people choose to take. Most people, you know, there's a, there's a narrow gate. That very few people walk down, and then there's a big wide gate that everybody seems to walk down. And they seem to, to, everybody wants to follow down the wide path through the wide gate that everybody else is going through. Hey, but there's there's some people, they rather, they rather uh, go the opposite direction. Something pushes them in the opposite direction to go the other way through the narrow gate. Shalom. Shalom.